Stropping is sharpening on a relatively soft surface that has some sort of abrasive compound rubbed into it. It's probably the easiest way to maintain a good edge on your tools without having to go back to messier sharpening methods such as water stones. It works best on tools that are already pretty sharp. If the edge is dull or damaged, then it's a lot less effort to just take that tool back to your stones and sharpen it up that way until it's ready to be stropped. Once you've gained a little bit of experience in using hand tools, you'll become more attuned to when a tool is starting to lose its edge. I try to be mindful of how much carving time has passed since I last stropped my knife to make sure it only takes a little bit of stropping to get myself back to optimum sharpness. Optimum sharpness can mean different things to different people. Fortunately, the folks over at sharpeningsupplies.com have sent me a little toy to play with. It's basically a scale with a very uniform cutting medium, henceforth referred to as a bit of string, but it's more sciencey than that. The scale will measure in grams the maximum weight applied to the tool before the bit of string was cut. To demonstrate how easy and important stropping is, I've got a brand new Mora 106 and so we're just gonna first we're gonna just test what the factory edge is like what's oh, in there there we are and see how sharp that is do a little bit of stropping and see where that gets us Okay, so factory edge, average 148 grams. Let's strop for just five minutes and see where that gets us in terms of edge improvement. The technique for stropping is pretty much the same as sharpening. Just remember that because the abrasive compound for stropping is rubbed onto a soft surface, you always want to strop with the edge trailing so the tool doesn't cut into your strop. There are also all sorts of different stropping compounds I like the green stuff. Well, at least now it's shinier. Let's take it back to the sharpening tester and see what kind of improvement five minutes of stropping has given us. So after just five minutes of stropping, we went from needing on average 148 grams of downward pressure, force pressure. We're now down to an average of 71 grams. So we've pretty much half the amount of effort that it takes to cut the piece of string with just five minutes of stropping. However, we don't just cut bits of string with our Mora 106s. So now I'm gonna spend 10 minutes carving a little roughed out spoon, and then I'm gonna see what that does to the edge. After 10 minutes of carving, we've made some really good progress on our spoon blank, but where has that left us with our shiny sharp edge? After just 10 minutes of carving this cherry, the knife now takes 123 grams in order to cut the string. So we started at needing 148 grams, stropping took us down to just needing 71 grams, 10 minutes of carving took us back up to needing 123 grams. Now this whole thing wasn't overly scientific, but it, hopefully it's a good demonstration that just stropping will help improve your edge and that just a little bit of carving will knock your edge back a little bit. If you're interested in any of the things uh, that I've used in this video, I'll put some links to them in the description below. If you've enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Please subscribe, that would be great. Thanks a lot, bye.